Hi, here we are at the Lars Training Center. Anytime you're servicing a piece of equipment, it must be performed by a licensed contractor. Also, gas and electric must be shut off prior to servicing that equipment. Thank you. Hi, my name is Steve Marizzi. We're here at the Lars Training Facility. We're going to talk about combustion and setup for combustion. Uh, it's for the commercial boiler, Neotherm 285,000 up to 850,000. There are a couple of different sizes. Uh, so we're going to talk about the different gas valves that would be used for each one. Combustion needs to be set up by a licensed contractor. You will need a combustion analyzer and some hand tools. Uh, so first off, we're going to talk about the different gas valves that are used. Okay, so this is the Neotherm 285. We utilize the Honeywell gas valve. There are two adjustments to be made. The high fire adjustment is right here in the Venturi. So the, it's actually sitting in the boiler like so. So your adjustments are going to be made right here on this Venturi set screw. Okay, You can either use a flathead screwdriver or a number four millimeter Allen key. The low fire adjustment is made under a, um, a cap, aluminum cap. It's number 40's torque bit to take the cap off and then a number 40's torque bit to go in to make your low fire adjustment. Okay, so this is the gas valve that's used on the 399 and 500,000 BTU boilers, okay? It's in position like so, so your inlet gas line's coming in on the right-hand side and then out to your Venturi and manifold. There are two adjustments here. Your high-fire adjustment, which is right here with a little slot, utilizing a flathead screwdriver that you would place in position and make your adjustments for your high-fire CO2. Your low-fire CO2 is right here utilizing sorry wrong set utilizing a number two millimeter allen key okay putting that in and making your adjustments there lastly we're using the large honeywell valve this is used on the 600,000 750,000 and 850,000 BTUs okay on the 600,000 this would be mounted down in the lower part of the cabinet which we'll see in a few minutes when I get into the other boiler and the 750 and 850 it's mounted on the top side of the panel on the top side of the boiler so you'll have to remove the top panel there's also a large blue cap remove the blue cap and this is where your high fire adjustments would be made with a number three millimeter allen key and your low fire adjustment is made here under this aluminum cap with a flathead screwdriver remove the cap now you'd utilize a number four, uh, 40's torque bit, place that down inside and make your low fire adjustments. All of these gas valves for your high fire to reduce CO2 is clockwise rotation. To reduce CO2 on low fire, it's counterclockwise rotation. And most of these valves will have plus and minus uh, settings on them to tell you which way to go. But again, high fire is clockwise to reduce CO2. Low fire is counterclockwise. Okay, so what we have here set up for demonstration purposes a Neotherm 500 using the Dunes valve, which we'll uh, see in a few minutes. The very first thing I'm going to do is remove the lower cover door. Going forward. From the home screen, I'm going to go into setup. Make sure we're set up uh, for a central heat call, disable outdoor reset for testing purposes. So, starting from the home screen, I'm going to press on the symbol of the solar control. I'm going to go to configuration. I'm going to go to central heat configuration. My central heat is enabled. I'm going to use my right hand arrow. Now, if you're in a lead lag cascade and you're doing this testing um, it, where this would be disabled on a lag boiler, you would want to log in. So, here's our keypad here for login. Press the letters L and T for Lars Neotherm. Click OK. And now what you do is enable this simply by choosing enable and press OK. So now we have central heat enabled. Press our right hand arrow. We're going to give this a set point. I'm going to highlight the set point and increase it. In this case, I'm just going to increase it to 150. Press OK. So now I want to go back using my back arrow, 
I'm going to go to Outdoor Reset Configuration, highlight that, and I'm going to disable Outdoor Reset just for the test. Okay? So now our Outdoor Reset is disabled. I'm going to go back to my home screen by pressing that home button up top. And I'm going to give our boiler a call for heat. So now we'll see the solar control is actually in yellow. If I highlight that, it'll tell me it's in a hold because our fan speed is not proved. We actually need, right now, our burner strain state is pre-purging, driving to purge. So we're trying to get rid of any residual fuel gases. We're looking for 5,000 RPMs and the fan speed had not reached it. Now it did. But now we're not going to light at 5,000 RPMs. So we want to modulate back down. So you'll see 62 hold up here for a second time. So we're looking to modulate now down to 2,800 RPMs for this particular boiler. Fan speed's not quite there yet. We'll see 62 hold <clears throat> go away in a second. Okay, now that we've reached our 2800 RPMs, we're going into a pre-ignition test. And now the boiler's in run. We see a flame signal here. So, now that the boiler's running, we actually want to hook up a combustion analyzer and do combustion testing. Okay, so now I'm going to take my analyzer probe, I'm going to put it in my flue. I'm going to set up my combustion analyzer. What we're looking for is CO2. All right. Now, back to the home screen. What we need to do is go on and we need to lock this boiler in high fire. So I'm going to go to Diagnostics. I'm going to go to Diagnostic Test. If you have not logged in, click that Login padlock symbol and log in with the letters L and T. Click OK. Now we're logged in, the padlock's unlocked. We're going to start with maximum modulation. The boiler has to be running, and it is. We're going to click Start Test. Okay? We now have five minutes. Right here on the lower corner of the screen, you'll see we have seven, eight, nine seconds. We're counting up to five minutes. So you have five minutes to do your maximum high fire modulation. So, for this boiler, we're looking for roughly 8.8 .8 to 9% CO2 on natural gas. Propane is 9.8 to 10%. So in this case, we're using natural gas. We're going to be looking for right around 9% CO2. Again, propane is 9.8 to 10%. So with our analyzer, you can see right now we're at 8.96. So if needed, I could come in here and make my high fire adjustment right here, utilizing the flathead screw, screwdriver rather, in that slot, and make my adjustment. So now keep in mind, every analyzer could take 30 to 90 seconds to, to stabilize, all right? Um, so please be patient with your analyzers. You don't want to make an adjustment, and then all of a sudden make another adjustment too quickly, okay? Uh, so again, we're looking for roughly 9% CO2. So now with our CO2 right about 9%, what I want to do is go in and lock my boiler into low fire. So back to the home screen. We've used up roughly 2 minutes and 31 seconds. I'm going to click Stop Test. I'm now going to hit Minimum Modulation. I like Minimum Modulation. You'll see your arrow drop down. Again, you can see where it was at maximum. When I hit minimum, it drops down. I'm going to click Start Test. We're going to start testing for another five minutes. Low fire adjustments on these boilers are half a percent less on the Neotherm commercial boiler. So if you look at a 9% CO2 on high fire, we want to be at 8.5 thereabouts for low fire. So our boiler is now modulated down. We're going to watch our analyzer.
again, we're only checking CO2. Okay, and that is at 8.52, which is pretty close. However, if you did need to make an adjustment, why don't Utilizing a number two millimeter Allen key, put it in that little slot and make your adjustment. Okay, again on low fire to reduce CO2 is counterclockwise. Okay, high fire reducing CO2 was clockwise. Okay, so you're going to make your adjustment, wait for your analyzer to balance out. And in this case, I dropped it a little more, so I'm down at 8.46. I'll make one more slight adjustment. And again, we want to be right about 8.5 CO2. So, now with our boiler dialed in, what we want to do is click stop test. You need to use this camera for this. It's going. Okay, we're going to go back to the home screen. You can either go back using your back arrow, or you can press the home button. And now what we're going to do is uh, go back to configuration back to central heat configuration. I'm enabled, but again, if you have a lag boiler uh, in a cascaded system, you would want to disable that simply by highlighting it and disabling it. I'm not in this case. Mine's a standalone single boiler. And you're going to go back to your set point and reset your set point back to where it was originally set. So mine was at 140. I'm going to go back to 140. Click OK. Now, I have to hit the back arrow, and remember, if I'm using Outdoor Reset, I need to go back in and enable up. Okay? So, that's the combustion setup. All of this information is in our manuals. We also have uh, manuals and other videos showing navigation of the complete screen. And if you have any questions, please contact the factory at one 800 900-9276. Thank you.